All right, here's another vlog post, and I really like this one that we're gonna talk about today. It is about excuses. Sorry, excuses. Now I hear so many excuses from clients, or potential clients, or friends. Basically, anyone who knows that I'm personal trainer. Oh, I love exercise. I should start working out, but I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't know what to do. Ma, 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 ma. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone here. Actually, I think I am, but I'm just trying to make it uh, humorous here. Okay, I understand your excuses, but that's not a reason. None of that is a reason why you shouldn't be or you can't make time to work out or. Um, so let's start with the first and most common excuse I hear. I wish I could work out, but I don't have the time. That's bull, right? You gotta know that. We all have the same amount of time in a day. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or somewhere in between. We all have the same amount of time in a day, 24 hours in a day, right? Now I can understand if you need to work two or three jobs just to hold down your home, your mortgage, your car payments, that's great. But now you have to think too, right? Um, when you're starting out, you definitely have to trade uh, dollars for hours or time for money, right? So maybe you should downsize your car, get a better car, get your car out, right? It's a lot cheaper. Or maybe you should get a smaller house so you have a, you know, less rent or mortgage. Things like that, or maybe you just should start saving money and stop spending on things that you don't really need, right? Um, here's a great example. They say that they don't have time because you know they have to support their lifestyle, but then I look into their lifestyle. They they do a lot of things that actually don't even help them to to get healthier and fitter. Like um, they drink at night, or they party, they get bottle service. Um, for the for the older clientele, then they would I don't know they would do other things like hmm. I can't think of one right now. I'm not old yet, so. <laughs> but you get my point, right? So when they say I don't have time, it's a matter of priorities. Like I had a client and she decided not to buy a car, but she decided to, you know, commute to work, take the subway, take the bus, just so that she could afford a personal trainer. And I have to commend her for that. Um, she has her priorities right. She wanted to lose weight, she wanted to get fitter, she wanted to look healthier and feel healthier. That's a great thing, all right? So, um, some people just say, oh, I don't, you know, and, and, you know, I don't have the money to hire a trainer, or I don't have the money to sign up for a gym, but then they spend on alcohol, um, they spend on junk food, they, they spend too much time out. So you see what I'm saying here? They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not helping themselves. Like, the budget is going towards things that actually slow them down to achieving their fitness goals, right? So sometimes you just have to say that to them, like, look, this is where your money's going and that's why you don't have the time, all right? So that's one thing there. I don't have the time. We all have the same amount of time in a day. It doesn't matter. Obviously, a rich person has more free time because, you know, they have people working for them. Um, they can sacrifice um, unless, if, unless they're uh, assuming that they're an entrepreneur, right? They, they own their own business compared to someone who is not you know, who's employed, they have to work a certain number of hours. They have to work a certain number of hours per week to, to support themselves. So yes, that is the only variation that I see. But you can carve out time to do things. So look at your calendar, see what you're doing in a day, see what useless things that you don't see that is necessary, but you don't even realize it, and try to take that off your, your daily habits, right? or weekly habits or whatever, whenever you have free time, I always say, put your workouts or meal prepping or you know lifestyle improvement methods that you wanna get into, into your calendar. Because when you do that, you'll start to um, materialize things. It starts to become more tangible because you put it in your calendar. I would suggest getting a physical calendar to write down on, and you can also put it on your phone if you're a techie guy type of guy. But there has been studies that show when you write things down, you remember things more. Um, it's in your system more. You, you know, you're more ingrained to it. Um, a study on kids or students actually were told to write down notes during a lecture versus type down notes on their laptop during a lecture. And guess what? The kids that wrote the notes down actually retain more information compared to the kids or the students. Sorry, I feel so old saying kids. The students that don't write the or that are typing it. 
and they had the same amount of time in the lecture. They did not study af after, it's just that they retained the information more. So that's what I would suggest. Write it in your calendar, put it in your iPhone or iPad, you know, sync it all so you can, you're foolproofing yourself. It's, it's there physically and it's there electronically. Okay, so time is not an excuse. We all have the same amount of time. Um, you can carve out time. I'm sure there's time there where you're just doing nothing or you're just socializing, which is not bad, but how much time do you need to socialize in a week anyway? How much time do you need to drink? How much time do you need to, I don't know, do the things that you do, scroll on Facebook. I try to avoid them as much as I can. Mind you, I'm using this for work, so I'm trying to promote my business, trying to make you understand what I'm trying to do here, and maybe you see the value in what I have to offer here because I do believe that I can impact more people by going online and spreading the word recording what I have to record and then you just play it, right? It's way more efficient. I can duplicate myself. So there, there is no such thing as time as an excuse, okay? That's the first thing. I'll give you another excuse next time because I'm looking at the timestamp here. It's been six minutes so far. If you have any questions about time being an excuse, let me know. But here's a bonus. I just remembered. Still related to time People say, oh, I wish I could start working out, but, you know, I'm too old now. And every time someone says that, they're excusing themselves from being fitter. All I have to say is that as long as you're fitter and healthier than you were the day yesterday, then that's, that's a win right there. And you have to count every small win. Um, it's never too late to give up because that's like, to me, when someone says, I'm just too old for this, it's like they're saying that I'm... I gave up, I'm just waiting for death to hit me. I'm sorry, that's very morbid, but that's how I see it, and I'm just giving up, um, I'm just gonna let life take its its course on me. I mean, I, that doesn't make sense. It, grab hold on to life, you know? Do your shit. Um, you know? Don't just let, don't, don't be passive like that. I mean, some people start exercising when they're 50 or 60 or 70. I've seen some guys on, you know, online. They've done real well, and they didn't give up. And to be honest, uh, fitness is the fountain of youth, so you really have to get fitter and healthier because it'll keep you young, okay? You won't get younger, but it'll keep you young and it'll make you feel younger, all right? So that's it. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you disagree with me, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe I could explain things to you. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm trying to understand everyone's point of view. All right, guys, till next time. Thanks.